What is going on guys winter kills here and welcome to a brand new locals feature match Regular format this time around the three features that I have from my locals this past week are all regular current format And I uh, hope you guys are going to enjoy them as we head into the uh, holiday season here And uh, yeah, we've got uh, sprite on the left versus cash Tira adventurer on the right um, I tried my best this tournament to get as little tier as possible on the camera. Uh, I was also able to record some, uh, you know, Saturday Night Local stuff, you know, some of the first person uh, POV stuff, uh, me playing Marincess. Um, so I have two episodes of that going up this week as well. So if you guys are looking forward to those. Um, but yeah, so we're going to see our sprite player go first, going starter into red, then summoning blue into jet into uh, a search of smashers and then it looks like we'll see him i mean imagine we could see a, a link two for sprine here uh dump angler summon out two beavers but we're just gonna go right for gigantic activate gigantic effect i mean if you go the other way like you know if you go for sprine right you get the the additional body that is sprined um and you still end up getting to gigantic anyways um but it looks like we're gonna see the uh gigantic summon iperia and Iperia, when it is summoned, lets you draw a card. Also, just level two as well. Um, you know, perfectly enough. So we're going to see him summon that, draw a card, and then link off the Gigantic and the Iperia, now going into Elf. Um, so very, very standard way of playing this. I feel like this could have done maybe done maybe a, a lot better here. Um, I also think this is Live Twin Sprite, too. Um, so actually, that would make sense if he didn't go for the Sprine play, because they're not playing... Um, you know, I guess, in quotes, like, pure sprite, or, like, how most uh, builds of sprite right now are being played uh, with the nimble stuff. So, yeah, I believe this is live twin sprite. Um, yeah, Enion just red and elf with three set back row. Um, not the craziest end board, and we're going to see a twin twister. Um, during our opponent's standby phase, discarding a droplet uh, to summon out artifact scythe. Um interesting very interesting and it will summon scythe since it was destroyed in the opponent's turn and um it'll summon and it will resolve its effect here now he is playing against cash tira so this scythe really isn't going to be that impactful at all here um since cash tira plays plenty of main deck to boss monsters like fenrir and unicorn um and you know the adventure package definitely helping out adding to that more of um main deck presence you know a lot less reliance on the extra deck so we're going to see him activate Chainlink 1 uh, Fateful on the Summon of Fenrir, Chainlink 2 Elf, and that's going to go ahead and bring out Blue. New Chain, we're going to see the uh, Fenrir resolve, uh, at least attempt to resolve, um, and they are turn players, so they will be Chainlink 1. Blue will be Chainlink 2. Blue will go ahead and search out Jet for follow-up here, and then we're going to see the Fenrir go ahead and resolve, banishing one face-up card they control face down, and it's just going to go ahead and get rid of the red. And so they lost out on their monster negate there, which is going to be kind of tough. Because um, now there's really no interruptions right now. I mean, there is one set. I mean, we can assume it's Smashers. So really just have to deal with Smashers right now. And uh, then they're going to go ahead and resolve the other effect of Fenrir here to go ahead and search for a Kashdira. It's going to be a copy of Unicorn. And of course, they also did get the search of Draco back here. Also, uh, Griffin Rider being a level 7 is also just really hot, too. Um, you know, working in synergy with all the other cashier monsters being level 7, help you getting access to uh, some cool rank 7s. I also think this is like Scareclaw um, cashier, too. I'm just remembering all this stuff now. I have to change the uh, the title when I... Uh... No, I have to change the thumbnail, because I've already made the thumbnail for this video, but I forgot it was live twin sprite versus like um, Scareclaw cashier. So we're going to see him activate Pot of Prosperity here, revealing six. Uh, Visa Starfrost, the uh, Scareclaw Field Spell, Enchantress, and uh, one other card, one or two other cards there. Couldn't really see him in time. But uh, he will get to Enchantress, which is huge, um, because now we can use the uh, the Griffin Rider, or well, the Fateful, rather, to go ahead and get access to the Griffin Rider, and then pitch the Enchantress, Enchantress Effect, Engrave, to go ahead and search out right. That's going to go ahead and resolve, and... I mean, we can imagine the Smashers will probably trade with the Adventurer token. But, 
should still be able to stick the Griffin Rider on field, which is just a free level 7 body. Which doesn't matter as much at this point because, you know, they are under Cyclops, so they won't be able to um, have access to any rank 7s anyway. So there's the summon of the token. In response, we're going to see the Smashers as expected. We're going to see him summon the Griffin Rider and then, you know, pay the cost for the Smashers, you know, resolving it, banishing Jet, banishing Token. So they have just Fenrir and the Nightmare Griffin. Of course, they're also under Pot of Prosperity right now, too, so they will take half battle damage. Very easy thing to forget. They still have, uh, like, five or six cards left in hand here. Five cards, looks like, for our uh, Scareclaw Cashier player. To the only two remaining in hand for our Sprite player. And then we're going to see him normal summon the Scareclaw. I think it's Triheart. And then we're just going to see him go battle phase. And Fenrir will swing over the Elf. And then Griffin and Triheart will swing over everything else. And then we'll see him pass turn. Where he'll start with a copy of Sunny Snitch. And this is that live twin engine. Finally seeing some action here. Gonna go ahead and search out Lila. No, or no, it's Reichart, not Tryhart. Reichart. It's been a little, been a little while since I've uh, seen Scareclaw cards. We're gonna see him normal summon the Lila, activating the effect since he controls no other monsters. Go ahead and summon a Kiss a Kill monster, and we'll go ahead and summon Frost on Resolution. Fenrir will activate, and he'll go ahead and banish the Frost face down. Thinking so, his opponent needs another extender at this point. Which, I mean, we do know he had the jet that he searched last turn, so I'll have to go ahead and burn that now. And could easily go ahead and search out Smashers here to try, or not Smashers, sorry, uh, Starter to keep going. I think I think Starter's probably the only card that you search here that makes any sense. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and search out Starter. I think I saw a Gamma Burst in the main. So Live Twin Sprite with the Artifact Scythe in the main deck. Very bold. And Twin Twisters, too. Main deck Twin Twister seems very, very strange. Um, but either way, we're going to see him activate that starter. Paying 11 to go ahead and summon blue. And blue effect. Go ahead and search. Going to go ahead and add a copy of Sprite Pixies. Pretty important card to have in the deck since everything is very tiny. Your biggest main, or your biggest Sprite monster, I think, in the extra deck is gigantic at 1600, so... Having an attack ceiling of 1,600 kind of sucks, so having Pixies helps out a ton. It's not like the Live Twin Engine really helps out either. I mean, you have Trouble Sunny, which I guess, you know, being a 3,300 monster, I believe, does help a little bit. Um, but, you know, half the time you're not going to be able to get to Trouble Sunny because of the, uh, you know, the level 2 lock from Gigantic and Start. I th actually, now that I think about it, I don't even think most Live Twin Sprite builds even play Trouble Sunny. I think they just play two of each of the links, or maybe two red, one blue. Um... We're going to see him go for Elf. Elf's going to bring back Aperia, get a draw. And yeah, speaking of just Live Twin Sprite in general, it's been a very long time since I've seen any uh, Live Twin Sprite variants. Um, and it's kind of cool to see it back, though, here on this uh, specific feature. So we're going to see the Gigantic go ahead and resolve here, detaching, summoning out a Kiss a Kill. And then summoning out the Treat from the hand. And then linking off the Lila and the Kiss a Kill into Evil Twin. Lila, and then we'll activate its effect on field to bring back the kiss kill from the grave and then linking off the Lila evil Lila and the kiss kill into evil kiss kill bringing back Lila and then getting the effect here to go ahead and pop a card I feel like clearing the fateful adventure is pretty strong there um, but they will go ahead and clear the Fenrir which I mean fair enough but you know you do have the gigantic that could attack over it in the battle phase since it was summoned using a Link 2. So it is at 3200, which can easily get over Fenrir here. And they also have Pixies too, so Pixies could also help them beat over plenty of things too. Because um, yeah, I mean, pretty much everything with the help of Pixies could get over all of the monsters, and then you're still leaving them with Fateful, so you might as well just clear the Fateful there. I think that was definitely a bit of a misplay. So we will see him go to the battle phase. Gigantic will get over the Griffin Rider, and then we're going to see the evil Kissikill attack over the Reichardt, which is at 15 to evil uh, twin Kissikill's 1100, and uh, we're going to see Pixies use its effect, 
which will give it a um, basically an honest like boost. So we'll take 11 and then 11 over with the uh, evil evil Lila, and then linking off the Lila and the Kiss a Kill into another Kiss a Kill. So it has access to a pop during the opponent's turn. And that looks like it's going to be it. The only unfortunate thing here is they they don't have an elf. If they could have ended on elf and also, like, maybe if they could have just linked, like, the gigantic and the, um, and the, uh, the treat into an elf and then made another kiss kill, that would have been a little bit better because at least you have, like, uh, the elf to protect from targeting, you know, the, uh, the kiss kill and they can bring back red, right? Creating more interruptions here because right now you really only have one interruption. And that fateful adventure is going to come in clutch here. Getting him access to a search of Enchantress. Activating Enchantress Graveyard Effect. You know, getting access to some decent advantage here, right? Griffin Rider is in the graveyard, so uh, their access to a free Omni Negate is basically out of the loop for now. But they never committed uh, the Draco back, so that is still a bit of a looming threat in the hand for them. And then we're going to see him go and special summon the Unicorn. We knew they added this the previous turn. Um, so Unicorn... Can search out a Kashtira spell, much like Fenrir can search out a Kashtira monster. Uh, but instead of banishing uh, face of card face down, we are looking at the opponent's extra deck and banishing one monster from it face down. Um, if they activate a monster effect or if it declares an attack, so we're gonna see him search out Kashtira Birth, which is basically uh, monster born, but can also summon back non Xyz Kashtira monsters that are banished as well. And they're hesitating on using Bell there, and it looks like they will decide to use the Bell on the birth which i think is smart there otherwise you give them a free fenrir and we won't see them use the unicorn effect on resolution there but we'll just see him play right right we'll go ahead and give him the token and uh there is a fatal not really fatal but an unfortunate um mistake that happens in this match that i want to point out right now um, that our cashier player made a couple times, a couple mistakes. Um, they do use the uh, Draco back here to bounce back the Gigantic. Um, and then they're going to go ahead and special summon, or well, normal summon Fenrir with the help of Birth. They do not need to tribute for normal summoning level 7 monsters. Um, but they are under the restriction of Rite of Air Messier, so they cannot activate normal summon monsters' effects since, you know, Fenrir was normal summoned. Um, not in the standard conventional way, you know, as normal summon with the help of Birth. Um, but they should not have been able to get the search effect there. Um, so that was a misplay that happened there, um, and uh, it does happen in this game, unfortunately, as well. I apologize, but I mean, it is what it is. These things do happen from time to time. Um, neither player caught it. It's unfortunate when these things happen, but they do, unfortunately, happen to the best of us. Um, so yeah, we're going to go into game two here. Kashtira, Scareclaw taking it there. Uh, reminder to check out Imperium Duelist and my TCG player links down in the description below. If you guys are still doing any last minute holiday shopping and you want to support the channel in the process, feel free to check out those links and, uh, you know, discount code uh, in the description. So we're going to see our live twin sp sprite player go first here, leading with Kiss-A-Kill into the, or Lila into Kiss-A-Kill Frost, into Pixies. Wasn't going to go for a link play, but Psych looks like we're going for Gigantic. And then Imperm on Gigantic going to go kind of in here. They just have Scythe, Gamma Burst, and Smashers in hand, so their turn is pretty much done at this point. So they're just going to go ahead and set Gamma Burst and Smashers. I feel like you wouldn't set... I mean, you could just set the Scythe and Bluff, I guess. That wouldn't be a terrible thing to do. And uh, they will not take any burn damage from the, uh, the Sunny Snitch here because there's no Evil Twin Monster on board at the moment. So that makes my life in editing a lot easier. So we're going to see our Kashira Scarecall player lead with the Unicorn, searching out birth successfully here. Already applying a decent amount of pressure. It looks like they have a right cart in hand. And two spells. One of them being Prod of Prosperity, so... Easy banish six for them, it looks like. Revealing Fenrir, right... Um, a couple of Scareclaw monsters, and a Visa Starfrost, and one other spell there, and they're gonna just take the Rite of Aramisir. Very nice card here. So they'll activate right. Oh, they do have the right. They'll just go ahead and special summon the token, and grab Fateful Adventure from the deck. I mean, talk about a spell card that just gets you 
two free cards. Token plus a continuous searcher that nets you two cards. Bonkers. So we will see him search out the Wandering Griffin Rider, discarding a Fenrir, which is basically just a free discard since, you know, they can bring it back with the birth. And now they can use Fenrir's effect since it is not under the uh, normal summon clause. It was not normal summoned because they brought it back with birth. So we'll see Fenrir search out Fenrir. And then we're going to see him activate Reichphobia, the Scareclaw Field Spell. Yeah, Primitive Planet Reichphobia. When this card is activated, you can add one Scareclaw monster or Visa Star Frost from your deck to your hand. And then they're going to go ahead and activate it. And then they're going to go ahead and search, summon, and then link one into the Light Heart to go ahead and search out another copy of the Field Spell. I believe they normal summoned. Which one was that? Astra, I believe. Looks like Scareclaw Astra. Going into the link one that searches the field spell. How fitting. Right now, assembling a pretty big board here. Not much opposition from the opponent's field. I mean, the Smashers, I actually am realizing now that they can't even use the Smashers because they don't have any sprite cards in the graveyard. So it looks like they're going to go to battle phase and attempt to use uh, Fenrir on attack declaration. They're going to banish uh, the Frost face down, and Fenrir will run over the Gigantic and swing in with everything else, dropping his opponent down to just a 1,000. And it looks like he'll pass turn there. So we knew they had... They either kept the Smashers in hand, or they kept the Scythe in hand. I think... Yeah, now that I remember that, you know, you need a sprite card in Graveyard, it probably would make more sense that they, they held the Smashers and set the Scythe as a bluff. But they held the Gamma Burst. Interesting. Um, so they're just going to use the Twin there, and they're just going to negate it with Griffin Rider, and that is going to be the match. Scareclaw, Cashier taking it 2-0. Hope you guys enjoy this one. Um... And uh, thank you for watching. And last but not least, a big shout out goes to our Diamond Level channel members who are Pony Star, Cadillac 84, Justino, H8 Cyber, and Misfit. Thank you guys so much as always for your very kind and extremely generous support of this channel.